This is the second 2.2 video. We're going to look at how to actually calculate the areas or proportions of values from a normal distribution using table A, which I'll talk about later, or technology, which is just your calculator. So here's the first objective. It's got two parts. Let's look at an example of Tiger Woods. So Tiger Woods on the driving range. Um, Suppose when he hits with his driver, the distance that the ball travels follows a normal distribution with a mean of 304 yards and a standard deviation of eight yards. What percent of Tiger's drives travel less than 296 yards? So first let's sketch our distribution here. We know that it's normal with a mean of 304 and a standard deviation of eight. So the mean will be here in the center at 304. And if we subtract one standard deviation, 304 minus eight, that will take us to 296 yards. So I'm just one standard deviation below here at 296. And based on the previous video, we should know what proportion is between negative one standard deviation and positive one standard deviation. And it should be, 68%. So the question is asking what traveled less. So if 68 is in the middle, that means we have 100 minus 68 left over, evenly split on the opposite sides. So 100 minus 68 is 32, which leaves 16% below. And that is the shaded region we're looking for, 16 below and 16 above. So all these will add up to 100%. That's the way we've learned it using the 6895 99.7 rule. Today, I wanna to show you how to actually calculate this on your calculator. And so on your calculator, you're going to do this function here. It's called normal CDF. It's gonna ask you for four things. It's gonna ask you for your lower bound, your upper bound. So my lower bound here is it goes forever to negative infinity. So it's gonna be negative infinity. And then it comes up and stops at 296. And the mean 304 and the standard deviation is the final. So you need to memorize those four things, lower bound, upper bound, the mean and the standard deviation. So let me show you how to find that on your calculator. On your calculator, you're going to hit second VARS will take you to distributions. And we want the one that says normal CDF, not PDF. C is for cumulative, which this is a range. So we're going to hit enter here. My lower bound, I want as negative infinity. Yours might have that. If it doesn't, you can just hit negative and then you just hit a bunch of nines, 9999, nine, 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 should be plenty. And then our upper bound, we said it was 296. The mean, 304. Standard deviation is eight. So it will calculate, it'll print it to my screen, it'll calculate 15.87%. So when I go back to my screen here, so 15.87, you'll notice that it's not perfectly 16%. We calculated it to be 16% because the 68, 99.7 rule is an approximation, but this using the calculator gave us 15.87%. And this is more accurate than the rule is. So 15.87, oops, I forgot my percent. So we can use our calculator to find all kinds of um, I'll find of areas or proportions now. What percent of Tiger's drives travel at least 290? So sketch a picture. The reason you see the picture is to try and uh, is to help you calculate or find the range that you're gonna put in your calculator, the lower and upper bounds. So the means 304, 290 will be somewhere below. And we wanna find the area above is what they're asking for for this problem. So in our calculator, we're gonna to go to normal CDF. My lower bound now is 290. It's gonna stretch 
all the way and it's going for infinity, so positive infinity, the mean 304 standard deviation is eight. So if I were to punch this in my calculator, which I'll show you how to do one more time, I'm gonna hit second vars, normal CDF. Um, my lower bound was 290 this time, and I was going till positive infinity, so I'll just hit a couple of nines in there. The mean is 304, standard deviation. It'll copy and paste it, and there we go. 96% or 95.99. So 95.99% or you can write it as a proportion. 90, 96% of his drives will travel at least 290 yards. That's what this means here. So let's do one more example for this technique. What percent of drives travel between 305 and 325? So draw your picture. And if I type that in my calculator, that's going to tell me that it is roughly 44.59%. So 44.59% four, of his drives will be, be between these two values. <clears throat> so one thing to make a note of while we're on this is 290, what percentile would that be? If 96% is above it, that must mean that 290 is the fourth percentile because this would be the complement of 96, which would be 4% or below. So now let's look at uh, what we call working backwards. For each of these problems, they told us a value, 290, and asked us to find an area or a percent. They gave us two values and asked us to find an area, what percent are between these two? Here they're gonna ask us something different. What is the 60th percentile? So now they're giving us a percentage and they want us to tell what the uh, percentile or the drive length is. So we're working in the opposite direction now. So still sketch a picture for these because it will help you. If it is the 60th percentile, then it's gonna be above the mean, right? And we're gonna have we're gonna have 60% here. We want to know what is the x value that is the 60th percentile? What is the length that is greater than 60%? So we're gonna do something new in the calculator, and it's inverse normal because we're going in the opposite direction. So inverse norm, which I'll show you how to get to. And now we have three inputs that we're gonna use in our calculator. First, you're gonna put the area, so 0 0.60 is 60%, and then you're gonna put the mean, 304, and the standard deviation is eight. So in our calculator, in our calculator, we're gonna go second distribution, and there is our inverse norm right beneath normal CDF. It's gonna ask me for three things. The area, which I said was 60%. The mean is 304 and the standard deviation is eight. This will tell me the 60th percent of these drives. So 306.03 .03 is how far his drives need to go for the 60th percentile. So it was 306.03. And we should probably add the fact that this is yards. So 306 is the 60th percentile. What is the third quartile? So the other name for the th third quartile is the 75th percentile. So you can draw your picture here. So 0.75 is our area. We want to know what is the distance. So we should know right off the bat it's going to be more than 306 because that is higher than the 60th percentile. So in our calculator, we're going to do inverse norm. Inverse norm, the area is 0.75. The mean is 304, and the standard deviation is 8. And if we punch that in our calculator, that will take us to 309 yards. 309.4 yards. And so lastly, you might see uh, another type of question. Um, where they ask for 
what is the top 10%? What marks the start of the top 10%? So how long does he have to hit it to be in the top 10%? This is when the pictures come into help because I see a lot of students type 10% in their calculator, but it's not asking for the 10th percentile. It's asking really, if this is the top 10%, it's asking for the 90th percentile. So in our calculator, we're actually gonna put inverse norm 0.90 because it's the 90th percentile with the mean of 304 and the standard deviation of eight. So if we type this in our calculator, which I will refresh you on how to do that, we're just gonna hit second distribution inverse norm 0.9, the mean is 304, standard deviation is eight. So a distance of 314.25 is the 90th percentile of Tiger Woods' drives. So 314.25 yards.